Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Happy Tuesday, all my students, Al Horizmi class, Al Biruni class, Al Farabi class, and Al Ghazali class. In this beautiful day, please start your day with a smile, so you can enjoy your day. Nah, today we are going to learn science Cambridge. It is about using motors and buzzer. And you can open your science book, page 54 until 55. Are you ready? Let's start it! Okay, before we start our discussion tree, Miss Nina will review, I'll give you the answer about the previous meeting, the question in the previous meeting. Yeah. Miss Nina asks you about what will happen uh, if this big pop connects to two batteries. So, let's see what the answer. Ini di sini uh, kabelnya, kabelnya ini sudah Miss Nina lilitkan di bagian sini ya. Oke, okay, jadi yuk kita lihat apa yang terjadi. Ternyata teman-teman ini tidak akan tersetrum karena dayanya kecil. Oke, okay. apakah lampunya menyala? No, ya benar, lampunya tidak menyala ya. No, this big bulb cannot be on. With two batteries, ya. Yeah. Jadi lampu besar ini tidak bisa menyala hanya dengan dua baterai. Why? Baterai is powerless karena daya baterai ini kecil. Kalau untuk lampu kecil bisa menyala ya, tapi kalau lampu besar tidak bisa menyala. Nah, so the speak bulb need more power. Jadi membutuhkan daya listrik yang lebih besar. Coba kalau misalnya ini boleh kita cek ya. Kalau misalnya ini diganti yang pakai Lampu yang kecil, apakah menyala? Ya, mesti nyala lepas dulu. Oke, oke, ini tadi udah Miss Lina lepas ya, yang dari sini. Coba kita lilitkan. Apakah menyala? Bisa lihat ya, teman-teman. Ini bisa menyala. Ya kan? Okay, student. Welcome back to words of the day. And for today, we have two vocabularies that we have to learn. First, motor. It means an object that uses electricity to make something move. Artinya, jadi ini benda yang menggunakan arus listrik untuk membuat sesuatu benda bergerak. Number second. Buzzer. It means an object which makes a buzzing noise when electricity passes through it. Yang artinya suatu benda yang bisa mengeluarkan suara ketika teraliri listrik. Nah. Okay, we are going to discuss more about motor and buzzer. First, it is about motor. Yeah, a motor can make things spin around. Jadi, motor ini bisa membuat benda bergerak berputar. Spin around. Ya, yeah, bergerak berputar. Nah, jika ada suatu benda yang bisa bergerak berputar, nah itu di dalamnya, di dalam rangkaiannya itu terdapat mesin atau motor. Nah, seperti ini ya, salah satu jenis motor. So, how does the motor work? Nah, you can see this video. This is the one of example how the motor works. Jadi, ini cara kerja mesin, ya. Okay, next. Here, Miss Lina will show you things use motor. Jadi, setelah ini, teman-teman bisa uh, melihat beberapa contoh dari Benda yang menggunakan motor yang bisa spin round, oke? Okay? Fan, washing machine, windmill, and mixer. The second is buzzer. Yeah. A buzzer can make a sound. Yeah. 
Jadi alat ini, buzzer atau bell in bahasa, ini bisa menghasilkan suara pada suatu benda. Nah, this is one of the buzzer ya, contoh dari salah satu buzzer. How does the buzzer work? Bagaimana cara kerjanya dari buzzer ini? Ya, yeah, a buzzer will only work if the wires are the right way round. Ya, yeah, what does it mean? Maksudnya bagaimana, Miss? The red wire from the buzzer must be connected to the positive side of the cell. Nah, jadi rangkaian yang benar itu agar bis buzzer menyala berbunyi itu jika kabel warna merah dari buzzer terhubungkan atau terkoneksikan pada kutu positif dari baterainya. Nah, please look at this circuit. Do you see the red wire? Ya, coba perhatikan rangkaian ini Teman-teman uh, lihat warna, kabel warna merah Nah itu kabel warna merah ini harus terkoneksikan pada positive side of the cell ya Kutu positif dari baterainya And next, Miss Lina will show you the things that use buzzer ya, Perhatikan ya First, this is phone. Do you hear something? Yeah, this phone make sound. And second, alarm clock. Yeah, nih kalau alarmnya bunyi, you will hear the sound. Yeah. And the last doorbell. Nah, it is quiz time, dear. Are you ready? First, this is sound system. A sound system uses blah 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 to make sound. What is the correct answer? Very good. A sound system uses buzzer to make sound. So the correct answer is buzzer. Okay, buzzer. Next, this is blender. A blender uses blah 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 to move. Is it mother or buzzer? That's right. A blender uses mother to move. Yeah. Next, what is it? Yeah, it is radio. A radio uses blah 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 to make sound. Can you guess it? Very good. It is buzzer. So, a radio uses buzzer to make sound. And the last, what is it? Yeah, this is a cement mixer. A cement mixer uses blah 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 to move. What is it the correct answer? Motor or buzzer? That's right. A cement mixer uses motor, yeah, motor to move, yeah. Okay then, let us remember. A motor uses electricity to make things spin around. Ya, motor atau mesin menggunakan energi listrik untuk mengubah benda bergerak berputar. A buzzer uses electricity to make sound. Buzzer atau bell menggunakan energi listrik untuk menghasilkan suara. Alhamdulillahirabbil alamin, we have done our discussion today. I hope you understood about the material using motors and buzzer. And for the excitement, please look around you and find five things that use motors and five things that use buzzer. Okay? Then you can write the answer in LDL book.
Okay, good luck for today. Thank you very much for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.